hi guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm gonna be talking about top five awesome tailwind css libraries that you must know in order to build interactive cool animated ui for your web applications so this video is specifically for those who use react or next.js for building their web applications and design it using tailwind css so the first one is this awesome shared cn ui library which is loved by everyone and the reason it is loved by everyone because of its customization flexibility that it provides it is open source and it has a lot of stars on it github repository and i'm not gonna go into the implementation of every library which i'm gonna be talking about you can go to its documentation and if you want to know how we can use shared cn ui in our next js project i have a video on it you can check that out if you want to learn about shared cn ui and also this is supported by versal versal is a company who created Next.js and it has this tool v0.dev which is an AI tool. I have a video on it as well that how we can create different UI just by prompting a command. If I come over here on v0.dev and ask it create a table having two columns okay just just simple line so it is going to generate a ui and it is going to create a code for us to copy from here and use it in our project and the code that is it is going to generate is all using the shared cn ui components and this is the reason i'm talking about that it is supported by versal because v0.dev is created by versal so this is the table i can keep on talking with it through this text box and it will keep on modifying this UI and if I go to the code you can see that it is using the table component of shared CN UI this one if I go over here let's go to the components this one yeah so this table is being used by this v0 and we can simply copy it and use it in our code after installation of this component in our project okay so quickly if you want to use shared cn ui go to the docs and you can go to the installation select any of the framework which you like after installation of next.js project you just need to run this command it will ask you two three questions and after that you are good to go you can start using any of the component from shared cn ui and use it in your project and finally one important point about shared cn ui the reason it is famous that it does not reside inside the node underscore module folder it gives you the flexibility and the code of every component which you want to use uh, and then you can modify the code that it provides for any of the component according to your needs and the requirements and that's why it provides a lot of customization options and after installation if you want to use any of the component let's go one of the top component accordion and you can see there is a button added in v0 you can give it uh, some prompts on v0 and ask it to modify it according to your needs and once you need to install that you just need to copy this command and run it in your project of next.js react or any other framework and it's going to generate the code for this particular component in your project and after that you can start using this component and here are few of the samples that is provided by shared cn documentation here is the sample code after the installation it is using the accordion component and there is the sample code which you can copy paste and start modifying according to your needs the second one is this as eternity ui it comes with some cool components and each component is having some cool animations as well and on the hero section you can see that as i'm hovering over it it is showing some cool animations tool tips on these profile icons this is some cool animations over here if i go over to the components and these are all the different components that we can see and every component have some cool animations i have used couple of components from this library and uh, these use framer motion in order to implement some animations and if i open up any of this component and you can see that as i am hovering over it it is showing some circle highlighting the text behind it and uh, when i open up any component i can go to the code and i can copy it and use it in my project and it is giving us the code specifically for next yes because it is using client all right and below this it is giving us some information about how we can use it in our project we need to install these dependencies we need to create this file and then uh, we can add this image and after that we can start uh, putting up the code of this particular component 
at this particular path and start using it in our project and this library keeps on adding uh, the new components as well so sign up form is new one and you can see that there's some cool animations over it as i'm hovering over it placeholder and how cool is that guys if i go to the install next.js and here i think it's just giving us some information about installing next.js project and yeah so how cool is that guys let me know in the comment below as it comes with a lot of cool animation features so the third one is this daisy ui the reason i have put this on the third place because we have to install it using npm and when we install anything on using npm it gets added in node underscore modules folder and all the components we have to use from node underscore modules folder so this is the reason it gives us less flexibility to customize the components but still each component of daisy ui give us some props pre-built settings that we can use to customize the components if we go to the installation this is how we can install daisy ui in our project and after installation we have to add this in the plugins of tailwind css config file and we can use daisy ui in all of these different technologies and let's go to the theme i have created a video on theming with daisy ui and you can watch that video if you want to implement theming in your project and it has this pre-built theme colors to be added in your project okay so it has different configurations and this is the button we can use this button by checking out this jsx html preview and all of these different button types are available over here even more than the shared cn ui but again shared cn gives us the code which we can customize this does not give but it has more variations as compared to the shared cn ui this is the reason i think it says this is the most popular tailwind css library let me know in the comment below if you have used this library before this is an accordion this is the card chat bubble and all of these different components we can use in our project and the fourth one is this hyper ui this is an awesome library to be honest i really like it because it also gives us the code which we can customize let's go to the github as it is open source as well it has this 8.6k stars which is quite awesome so these are the different components that it gives us so let's go and check out few of the components let's go and see this uh, inputs so you can see that it has this pre-built input components that we can copy the code from uh, let me open up one of the coolest banner component and here we can click on this view button and we can copy it from here and use it in our project you can see that it is using tailwind css classes and if i go over here click on the left right we can check this out we can copy the only html jsx or view and it is also mobile responsive as well if we check out uh, from here mobile small medium large and then the full okay and few of these components are also compatible with the theming so let's say that if i go to the auth forms so these are the forms which are pre-built we can copy the code from here and if i go and click on this light you can see that it is compatible with the dark mode as well all right so i have used few of the components from this library and they keep on adding new components in this particular library uh, and we don't need to install it we can simply copy the code and use it in our project so let me know in the comment below what do you think about this awesome hyper ui and the fifth one is this hover.dev it comes with some cool components if i go down uh, you can see that these are the different components for this navbar menus buttons hero sections one of the components coolest component i would say i have used from here is this kanban board you can see that it is giving us this code for this kanban board and it has this drag drop feature as well just like the trello for project management and if you want to build this kind of animated ui yourself it will take you a lot of time so it's better to copy some code from here and it has some 3d components as well just like a saturnity ui it has this sign in page and 
few of these components are not free you need to buy its membership uh, and you can click on the get the code and this is the total price forever you can uh, buy the membership and you can uh, get the code for the components which are not directly available but most of the components are freely available they keep on adding new components let's say the card and uh, for this card we have this code available and it has some cool ui you can see over here some carousels yeah and its code is not available again you need to buy that and this is one of the reason i have put it on the fifth place but you can check that out and uh, if any card or the component is freely available you can still use it by clicking on this code so guys i have talked about top five tailwind css libraries you must know i have bookmarked all of these five libraries whenever i need to use them in my project i use it so if you have liked it if you have got to know some new libraries for the tailwind css do subscribe my channel and what do you think about these libraries and if you know any other new uh, tailwind css library that i haven't talked about let me know in the comment below thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video